Good afternoon and welcome to this stream of Art on the Hill. Art on the Hill Newport is a project that promotes the work of local artists in their communities by making homes and other venues art spaces for the weekend. Created by local artists Sarah Goody and Kate Mercer, Art on the Hill Newport began in 2017 in the MP20 area of the city. Based around the Micro Art Centre and partnership venue Cush, featuring open houses, events and exhibitions, they are a small group of volunteers wanting to contribute to the cultural profile of the area. Anyone can open their homes to share work. Artists are also invited to collaborate with other residents or partner venues and organisations to show outcomes in other places. This event is dependent on the voluntary contribution of people offering space and to creators of all mediums to showcase work in this community. Our first venue today is venue number 10, the Riverfront Arts Centre, and our first piece of work is Timar and Sons. She says, we have reached a point of emergency, the climate is changing rapidly. I wonder if there was a way to carry gardens with us as we walk. It's up to us now to find new ways to live a symbiotic life with our environment. Breathe is a performance action and peaceful protest for Art on the Hill 2020. I had planned to walk the streets of Newport for the first time, but with current lockdown, I cannot do this. Instead, I present images of this action that took place in a borough not so far away. Our next speaker's piece of work is Becky Lewis, and she says, I'm a painter and in recent years have been exploring embroidery and the relationship between paint and stitch. I enjoy allowing the paint or ink to move freely along the surface of the canvas and to use this as a map to follow with a needle and thread. Lockdown has been difficult for me on a creative level. My inspiration comes from going out, visiting different places and seeing friends and colleagues, bouncing ideas off one another. Lacking a subject matter, I have found it soothing to simply stitch without a set goal in mind, to switch off and allow my mind to wonder with a needle and thread, often going beyond the boundary of the embroidery loop. This is Heidi Baines, Newport's Lockdown Junk Shop. And she says, Newport's Lockdown Junk Shop is a documentation of walks that I've taken during this lockdown period. The objects in the collection were all found on a different daily walk. And walking became part of a routine and a way to rediscover a place I knew very well. These objects have no direct connection to each other, other than that they were discovered at this time. Some objects are instantly recognisable while others aren't. Some people will recognise some objects, other people will see other objects as a mystery. Each object was likely to have been considered rubbish, and for me each one has a connection to its previous life. Some are clearly a snapshot of a moment, something personal or an item lost. It is easy to imagine a story for each one and how it got to where it was, and although we will not know where each has been discarded. For a brief moment in each life, it is here as part of Art on the Hill. Each object is labelled with a name, location, time and date of discovery. This is the work of Laura Wiseman. Laura Wiseman is a landscape photographer based in Port Talbot, South Wales, and she writes, Photography, I just love it. There is nothing more satisfying than seeing the final result after hours location scouting, composing and taking the shot, and many more hours tweaking that image to perfection. Living in South Wales, she takes full advantage of the beautiful Welsh countryside which includes photographing the numerous waterfalls, rugged peaks and coastal beaches nearby. 
She loves to travel and is always on the lookout for her next big adventure. This is the work of Bryony Fenton, and it is a, a place where you start to move round the riverfront on the riverfront walkway. Bryony is a local fine artist currently based in Cardiff, and she studied creative and therapeutic arts at the University of South Wales, Newport. Her more recent commissions have included wedding portraiture, portraits of loved ones, and a whole collection of landscapes from around the world. These are the wonderful paintings of Justin Brown. Justin has lived in Newport for over half a century and specialises in paintings of the town, usually from life. He says, if you like my pictures, you can see them on my website or Instagram. His website is newportartistjb.com and his Instagram is newportartistjb. This is the work of Justina Medden, based in Bristol. She says craftsmanship means focusing on detail. People, process, passion, because they matter. They are artisan wallpapers and textiles. This is the work of Alex Edwards. Alex is a writer and visual artist who uses fiction, spoken word, painting and photography to tell stories about motherhood, loss, resilience and hope. Her work gives a voice to primarily to women and children who society has failed or not listened to. It also adds life, energy and emotion to statistics. For Art on the Hill 2020, Alex will be sharing two bodies of work. Saints and Sinners and Stories and Praying for Carl. The first three pieces were from Praying for Carl. The ones we are looking at now are from the Saints and Sinners stories. The text reads, once upon a time when appearances were everything and sex outside marriage branded you as a mentally deficient, good girls sat behind face lace curtains, but bad girls trudged to homes for fallen women, lunatic asylums and workhouses. Bad girls had nowhere else to go and of course they needed to eat as well as atone for their many sins. Those charitable parish whisperers behind silk embroidery did not love their neighbours nor do unto others what you would have to do unto them even unto your worst enemy beautiful on the outside but hard and punishing on the inside these houses of repression are almost gone is this why they crumbled and fell so easily when the bulldozer replaced them with shiny new visages of our wonderful NHS or property developers turn them into clean and heavily luxury flats. And finally at the riverfront, we have an exhibition of some pictures from the pantomime Dick Whittington. Unfortunately, the riverfront, because of lockdown restrictions, won't be having a panto this year. But these wonderful paintings by Cordy Rashrells represent King Rat, the Dame, Tommy the Cat and Dick Whitting to himself and are life-size versions of Richard Ellis, Lee Mengo, Emma Goodwin and Gareth Tempest. 
We're now at Venue 12, exclusive jewellery on Newport High Street, with a wonderful series of photos based around Newport Market. Venue 12. We're now on Charles Street, just walking up the hill, and outside Diverse Vinyls with an interesting exhibition by Ben Meredith. The exhibition is called Stone Cherub. We're now near the top of Stowe Hill at St. Willow's Cathedral at venue number three for this exhibition of Flowers for Family. Great work from the children. We're outside the old Six Bells pub at the top of Stowe Hill with artists at own risk work. We're now in Graham Street, looking at Lucilia Jones's wonderful illustrations of fish. Fantastic work. We are now at venue 17 in Jones Street for Hannah, Hannah Thorne, the palindrome painter's artwork. Beautiful illustrations. We are now at venue 25, looking at Mariga's Peace Shrine.
and it's amazing here we have the artist Mar we're now on Clyther Park Road outside the amazing Rogue Fox Coffee House uh, with some lovely artwork here Okay, we've now arrived at the top of Stowe Hill Crescent, uh, where from Risker Road you can see these amazing murals. These are the work of Sarah Goody and Kate Mercer, who are also the, the organisers of the Art on the Hill Festival. We're now still up on Stowe Hill uh, Crescent, just off Risker Road, looking at the murals by Kate Mercer and Sarah Goody. I may take this opportunity to thank all the varied people who have helped on this project. The Riverfront, Diverse Vinyl, Newport Live, Westgate, Laura Wiseman, Friends of Newport Museum and Art Gallery, Voluntary Arts, Asylum Arts, the Statue for Lady Aronda, Epic, Addicted to Patterns, Cellador, Women of Newport, Hounds the Bab Shop, The Rogue Fox, Le Pub, Newport City Council and Kudge. We're now in Venue 1, the Kudge Community and Art Centre at the top of Stowe Hill. Looking at the work of Christopher Langley. Christopher Langley is a finalist from the Lumin Prize and is recognised as one of Wales' foremost contemporary artists. Langley's work is visually stunning and technically brilliant. His master prints where a work is hand finished is very limited editions, as well as sought after when the original is sold. Raised in Pontypridd, South Wales, Langley became a professional artist in 2012 after opening his first solo exhibition. Today, Langley's work has national and international audience. This work also in Kutch Community Art Centre in Stowe Hill is by Greta Hart. We are now at venue 18 on Llanthui Road, looking at Rosemary Edwards' exhibition called Fractal. Fractal is a series of new photographic works made around Newport marshes by visual artist Rosemary Edwards. The manipulated images provide a different view of the familiar. The stained glass effect raises the status and demonstrate the complexity, beauty and fragility of nature. We're now at venue 20, just on Oakfield Road. An interesting venue. If you're going to come here, watch for the arrows on the side of the fence of the house. Follow the arrows down to the basement flat. And there in the window, you will find some beautiful work by Caroline Seeley. In the windows of the basement flat and the back garden of the property, 
Caroline Steely displays recent work inspired by the Gwent levels. She writes, Influenced by place and nature and historical events, I use maps and historical documents as reference to make layers of marks with textiles and mixed media. Please note access to the artwork is down the slope to the right hand side of the building. This work is not accessible unfortunately to people with mobility impairments. I'm now at Venue 21 in Penlin Avenue looking at the work of Nikki V called Newport in Lockdown. Nikki says, I am not an artist, but I took some photos over lockdown of the outside world around Newport while I was on furlough. They'd just taken on my iPhone and they weren't taken with the thought of displaying or even printing. I was just having fun. The first photo is a wet and murky commercial street just before lockdown, but most of the others are of clouds. The river, trees, some in full flower, others tall and in full leaf, transporter bridge and the seawall. I was drawn to open spaces seeking freedom at a time I was feeling particularly restricted. We're here at venue 14 and if you look up to the first floor window you'll see Sarah Goody's piece Wish You Were Here, Wish I Was There. I'm now at venue 22 looking at Ella J Wilding's work for the moment. Okay, we're now at venue 23, the Shire Hall, looking at Yian Berry's Old or New Port, 
and Fugly Arts Society. And we're really lucky that as we've come up here, one of the artists is currently painting as we're here and hopefully she won't be too shy for us to see some of her work in progress as we pan the camera across. We're now at the bottom of Stowe Hill at the Westgate Hotel and in the windows here we have a collection of photo photography by Anthony Carter named Newport Blues. If you're struggling to find where this is as we were earlier on, it's just opposite the pen and wig. Also at venue 11, at the bottom of Stowe Hill, you will also find work by the Lower Dock Collective. Three pieces of work in the windows at the bottom of the Westgate Hotel. We're now at venue six in Newport Arcade and we're looking at the work of Danielle Mayer. Whilst also visiting this venue, you might also find the chance to have a lovely craft beer, gin, whiskey, rum, plenty more inside, but also the ability to look at some interesting artwork. We're now in venue seven, which is Le Pub, looking at the work of Kate Mercer. She's showing work in progress from Make Do Amend, a project developed in lockdown. Kate Mercer works across a range of media, including photographs, textiles, video, and collage, exploring cultural uses of photography around memory, identity, and perception. Along with fellow artist and photographer Sarah Goody, 
Kate is co-organiser of Kelf Ar Ibrin Casnuid Art on the Hill Newport. She is a member of Frame Wales and helps run the promo hour Arts Newid as part of Newport Community Artists Network. <laughs> 